Hi, my name is John McCarthy. I work in the Chagas Dairy Gold Giant Program. The benefits of correcting a lime deficiency are numerous, from an increase in soil N, P and K availability, to the increased response from applied fertilisers, to the increased survival and productivity of perennial ryegrass and clover. But issues still persist with under application of lime at farm level. Traditionally, most farmers apply lime in the autumn, at which time weather and ground conditions can be poor, resulting in a fraction of the lime requirement being applied. A more proactive approach to lime application would be help increase application rates. The ideal pH to promote both grass and clover persistency would be between 6.5 and 6.8. The ideal pH for peat size is between 5.5 and 5.7. Every ton of lime applied will lift soil pH on average by 0.3. Lime costs around 25 euro a ton applied, with a potential return on investment of 7 is to 1. For irrigation farmers, it is now mandatory to correct your soil pH on your farm. This can be fixed by applying lime annually according to your derogation lime plan. We would suggest correcting at least one third of your low pH land each year. Tips to getting lime allocation spread would be, first of all, to consult your nutrient management plan color coded lime map. Ideally, you would laminate this map and put it up in a visible area on the farm or on the tractor. It's a visual reminder of what fields need a lime application. Break up lime applications into managed amounts over the course of the year. Identify paddocks for liming before they are grazed and have the lime ordered and contractor organised. So target grazing paddocks with low covers, something less than 500 kg dry matter per hectare. Recently cut round bale fields can also be targeted plus receded ground. This should limit any issue with lime residues affecting the following grazing of the field. Also target low pH silage fields just after the final cut of the year. Use protected urea instead of urea as it can be applied safely after lime application. Remember, lime can be safely spread any time of the year as long as ground conditions allow, but planning and developing a good relationship with your local contractor are important factors in getting lime requirements spread on your farm. So don't delay, dig out your lime plan or contact your local advisor to discuss your liming requirements for your farm.